Hi everyone, I'm Fahri and I'm honored to be presenting in the fourth international virtual conference on social sciences, education and innovation 2025. The topic title uh, is Chat GPT 4.0 versus DeepSeq V3, a comparative analysis of AI performance in integrated marketing communication. So the relevance of this research is that it is very timely and it is very critical as now we see that DeepSeq, a new Chinese AI tool has come up and they are claiming that they are better than Chat GPT. So with this research, we will find out if that really is the case. Why this is a very timely and critical research? This is because AI adoption is accelerating. It is projected that it will surge from 15.8 billion in 2021 to a whooping 107.5 billion by 2028. A research by PwC um, estimates that the contribution of AI powered automation will be over 15.7 trillion to the global economy by 2030. In marketing, AI is affecting everything from social media, email marketing to brand storytelling and customer services. Companies are aggressively adopting AI services to enhance efficiency, optimize engagement and scale personalized content production. So why we are studying these two tools? There are so many tools that are saturated in the market, right? Today, when we see, we see that there are tools like Copy AI, Perplexity AI, Copilot, Gemini, and so many others who are all being used in marketing by one form or the other. In fact, as of March 2023, there has been 14,700 AI startups in USA alone, let alone other countries in the world. The hype of these new AI tools disrupting the industries is such that just after Deep Six V3 version was released on 26 December 2024, weeks later, ByteDance came up with a new uh, advanced model uh, uh, from their side, and they claimed that their uh, mo uh, their latest AI tool is better than OpenAI's reasoning models. Then days after that, Alibaba came up with Quent 2.5. Um, an AI model and claim that it can surpass the acclaimed DeepSeq V3. So now, uh, actually, future logists, they are anticipating that the AI tools influence will reshape all four P's of marketing. However, there is skepticism as well. Um, uh, there is skepticism because uh, pe uh, people are... Uh, adapting AI very aggressively, but they are not seeing the drawbacks that it has, especially in marketing communication. Some things are very crucial. It requires thorough research, strategic thinking, creative storytelling, all of which demand human expertise, which now are being replaced by AI, slowly but definitely. So while AI enhances market analysis, customer segmentation and campaign planning, it struggles with high level strategic ideation and brand communication. Marketing success depends not just on just the op or automation, but on crafting compelling out of the box content that resonates with audience. So it is to see whether AI, the AI tools that we are talking about today can do that. By far, ChatGPT has been the most popular one who claims that they can do these tasks and they can do it well. It shows in their statistics like 67% of marketers use ChatGPT for content ideation and execution, and they claim that there is a 40% reduction in production time, enabling brands to create cost-effective, high-volume, personalized content. However, there are also limitations. The limitations is that ChatGPT, they have this way of generating plausible but incorrect information, which can be very sensitive in um, data sensitive sectors such as finance, healthcare, and so on. This hallucination rate is actually higher in non-English content. And it is also being experienced by marketers that they struggle with structured reasoning, limiting its effectiveness in research, predictive analysis, and campaign performance. So DeepSeek, when DeepSeek arrived, 
they claimed that they can do a better job than chat GPT, especially in problem solving and reasoning and logic based outputs. Its hype has been so intriguing that in one single day, NVIDIA uh, lost $593 billion investment. Um, this is the largest scale drop in Wall Street history. And by 5th February 2025, DeepSeek had been downloaded 21.66 million times, um, shaping AI adoption trends. So what is DeepSeek actually claiming? DeepSeek is claiming that they are better in coding than ChatGPT uh, 4's uh, benchmark. They have lower operational cost as well. Their computational design is such that they reduce dependency on high-end GPUs, which actually indirectly also affects energy uh, uh, conservation. So they say that they are superior in lo logic structuring. Precision, they have precision-driven uh, driven reasoning. They are cost-effective fact-based and they can produce structured communication. So when we compare these two, we already know that ChatGPT excels in creative storytelling and brand engagement, but whether deep six structured reasoning can be an, a cheaper, better alternative to ChatGPT, that is for us to see. The key concern here is to see if deep six is really truly revolutionary or is it just overhyped? and really challenge ChatGPT's dominance in marketing communication or serve as a complementary alternative. To find these questions answers, we have uh, developed three research objectives. In the first one, we will um, compare um, the global surge in interest in DeepSeek following its V3 model release compared to ChatGPT. Second, we will evaluate its functionalities uh, compared to ChatGPT and identify both the platform's strengths and suitability for IMC tasks. And thirdly, we will evaluate which AI platform actually performs better in executing IMC tasks. So this is an, a, a literature review of ChatGPT's evolution. You can see that they have started in 2015 and from GPT-1 they have come in so far and now they have so many models. So which uh, brings to up to date till uh, February 2025. DeepSeek's uh, journey in comparison to that is shorter. They have uh, actually started their main action in AI uh, algorithms in 2019. Still, they are claiming to be a tough contender of ChatGPT. So when we are evaluating the two platforms, we have to select multiple categories to see how uh, diverse and uh, how, uh, how uh, better they are in each category of IMC tasks. To do that, we have adopted the framework of Murer and Kubevik's um, from Murer and Kubevik's research, who have actually twelve criteria that they chosen to assess which AI tool is better in which tasks. We have refined it further to just eight categories to be more focused on uh, in integrated marketing communication tasks. So these are the categories that we have uh, chosen for this research, market analysis, branding and audience targeting, communication mix, PPC campaign strategy, PR and email, social media post or uh, ideation, ad copy and messaging, and SEO blog. So these tasks will assess the uh, performance of these two AI tools in both uh, strategy, in analysis as well as in creative tasks. The theoretical framework we have adopted is nature language and, uh, generation, which evaluates text on fluency, coherence, relevance, accuracy, and completeness, and complementing it will be other marketing principles. So for the methodology for research objective one, we will uh, choose relevant keywords to both platforms and see that how the engagement levels have risen after Deep Six introduction of V3. So uh, then we will move on to the next research objective where 
we will uh, compare, we will research the literature review to tally the functionalities of ChatGPT4 and a 4O and DeepSeq V3 uh, in regard to marketing functions and compare like what functionalities they are providing uh, focused on IMC. For research objective three, we will focus on a survey with prompt engineered outputs, which will assess each AI model based on the eight key marketing categories that I have just explained uh, now. So for the data collection and sampling, for the first research objective, we will collect the data, uh, secondary data from Buzz Sumo from December 26, 2024 till February 25, 2025, because December 26 is when DeepSeq V3 is released. So we want to see from that point on whether the conversation, the engagement level have um, diverted from ChatGPT to DeepSeq and to what extent it has diverted, to what topics are dominating when the conversation is happening. Second, we will also use the secondary data from our, uh, official AI platform websites, past literature and authoritative sources to compare chat GPT 4.0 and DeepSeq V3's functionality. Thirdly, to assess the performance of two models, we will use purposive sampling. So the prompt engineered outputs, this will be assessed by um, 20, uh, uh, 20 people who are subject matter experts with at least three years of marketing experience and uh, are very familiar to working with AI tools to do their marketing tasks. So uh, for doing the survey, we will ensure, uh, we have ensured that the, they are presented in, a, in an in identical condition. They will be evaluated with prompts which will focus on one single brand so that there are no uh, uh, biases, there are no uh, exhaustion of overload. And then the prompt that are generated that are also based on the NLG principles as well as marketing principles, as well it is designed by human, by who has a 10 plus years of industry experience and it is refined by tools like Gemini and Copilot so that um, a chat GPT and uh, DeepSeek are not uh, used to create the prompts as that may create biases because each platform, they will create their uh, prompts that is suitable to them, right? That's why this is the methodology and data collection and sampling process here. So you can see the prompts here, they're very specific. They're focusing on um, uh, the proton um, electric vehicle. And then, they, uh, uh, then the prompts are generated based on this one brand and then following up on these eight categories. For evaluating these categories, a rubric form of assessment has been created with a five point scale so that they, uh, it is easier for the market uh, subject matters, marketing subject matters to um, do the survey with scoring. And it is also easier for evaluation and uh, quantitative data analysis. So uh, these are the way the prompts uh, generated the outputs and these outputs are plugged in the, uh, in the survey for uh, the participants to uh, assess. So, with the data analysis, the first one when uh, to compare the surge of interest in DeepSeq versus ChatGPT globally, PC analysis is used to form a sentiment index for each platform for comparison. Then second, comparative analysis of ChatGPT 4.0 and DeepSeq V3's functionalities are based on secondary data. Um, Please be note that ChatGPT 4.0 is chosen to uh, and DeepSeq V3 are chosen is chosen to compare these two models' effectivity in uh, marketing performance because it is said that these two models are um, in the same level. It is claimed by DeepSeq and that they are best in creating uh, marketing communication related tasks. So the rubric. Uh, for the third objective, the rubric is uh, used to assess the performance 
And after that, for data analysis, um, these few uh, uh, these few analyses will be done from mean score per category to mean and median, standard deviation, Wilcoxon rank test, um, intra-class correlation to decision tree analysis to uh, confirm that which platform is excelling in performance and how well they are doing in each category. Finally, our aim is with this research, we want to see whether uh, DeepSea uh, excels in uh, performance uh, in, in compared to ChatGPT or whether um, they excel in some categories and ChatGPT excel in others. So it will give a clear practical view of how effective DeepSeek is and their claim that they are better than ChatGPT 4.0, to what extent that is true. Uh, for this research, I seek your valuable advice and cooperation in completion of this paper. The data, we are still in ongoing in the data analysis process and I seek your participation in the survey or any feedback that you can give to uh, accomplish this paper successfully. So here is the QR from here. You can go to the survey section and um, see what the survey is about and look at the prompts and the outputs that are generated by DeepSeek and ChatGPT more closely. So thank you for listening to me. Let's embrace the future of AI in marketing together. Thank you so much.